Hello, and welcome to another episode in our very sporadic semi-series of messing around with machine learning projects and such. Today we're checking out this site uh, that a friend of mine told me about called Artbreeder. <clears throat> I've seen similar sites in the past that generate images for you using neural networks, um, often like letting you use a seed image or iterating on certain themes. Uh, the really famous one, of course, is this person does not exist, uh, which just keeps spitting out people that don't exist. That person doesn't exist. Hey, guess what? This person looks kind of real, right? Well, it may be a little weird down here, but they just don't exist. And uh, wouldn't you know it, this person too. Not a real person. Uh, so this is sort of similar, um, but what it offers that I think is really fun is the ability to make your own images based on genetics. <laughs> so the way this works, well, let's start with anime. We should always start with anime. I think that's our rule in exploring any site ever, is starting with anime. Uh, so first we're going to pick kind of a base image to work off of. Off of. This kind of looks like a uh, Horo from Spice and Wolf. Well, let's start with some Horo. Um... Huh, okay. I'm not sure where the image we chose went, but whatever. These are looking a little strange. Let's uh, let's turn up the bangs a bit. Now we got more bangs going on. How about some black hair? So I think if we choose one... Oh no, that just saves one, I see. There was like a different way we were doing this before. Why do you smile more? See, now they're all smiling. This is... Uh... How about a negative smile? Mmm, <laughs> disturbing. Zoom out a little. So it's just creating tons and tons of images that have all of the parameters that we set. The anime ones are a little spooky. There's also this variable of chaos. As you can see when we turn it down, we get like kind of more and more basic ones, safe ones. These don't vary as much as before. But uh, your eyes are a little greener. Actually, how about a lot greener? So this is fun. You can try to like make characters you're familiar with. You can ratchet up the chaos and cry and have nightmares. Um, I gotta say though, we were we were playing with the uh, the real people. Oh, whoa! Wait, hold on. Where's uh? Where's people? I thought there was just like people. Whoa. Uh, damn. Where was, uh, that crazy? Didn't we, uh, maybe we saved some. Yeah, we, we made this guy. What category were we in? At any rate, so now this is the default, I guess? So you can start with any picture you've made and change the default. Anyways, the, the variables, the genetics for uh, editing the genes of the real people category is kind of insane because they're actual just like things like Middle Eastern can make make this person more Middle Eastern apparently. Uh, how about less white? It's, it's really, really kind of insane. I don't know... <laughs> What, what access gender is on, but you can see we can just uh, hit them with uh, 12 months HRT whenever we want. They lose their glasses too. Let's ratchet up the glasses. Get your glasses back. This is so crazy, right? Like, <laughs> I, I just assume, I don't know. I don't know how well known this site is. Uh, I didn't know about it until my friend showed me, but I would assume something like this is kind of popular. Because, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just crazy. Angrier. Ooh, less angry. Oh, how about more green? <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's, it's so uncanny. So th this one's kind of neat. Get some brown hair. That's some um, less black hair. That's some blonde hair. That's some chaos. All right. Um, the really cool one, which I feel like they kind of, uh, they bury the lead on just how crazy this one is, is the general category. So each of these have like a ton of different, um, 
Ooh, that's kind of neat. I feel like this has changed <laughs> in the last few days since I was playing it with, uh, playing with it with my friend. Um, so all of these have like a ton of different genetics, and they're fun to mess around with. More girl. How about wider? How about less clothes? <laughs> oh no! I hope I don't get taken off YouTube. How about more jacket? Like I don't know. It it doesn't work great, but it's just it's doing its best, and it's pretty amazing. But the general category, instead of um, having like a big array of different networks uh, or genetics, sorry, you choose just one gene at a time and you can pull it to and from that place. So uh, a really fun one is just combining animals uh, or like making your own breed of dog is, is usually it looks kind of reasonable. Um, so let's see, what's a, what's a nice dog? A samoid. So this is just generating pictures of, of big fluffy cloud dogs. None of these are real. Sometimes it's a little more obvious that they're not real. Um, but then we can also uh, mix in about uh, about um, hmm. what would what would work well? Maybe a collie. See how this works out. And now we're getting these collie. Samoid hybrids. Samoid? I don't know how to say this word, but <laughs> let's turn down the samoid a bit. Get a bit more collie in there. Yeah, that's mostly collie. A little bit of, a little bit more samoid than collie. Wait, what? My mind is being completely blown by this right now. I <laughs> let's get another dog in there. No, no, we can go crazier. How about uh? How about tiger on top of all this? Ooh. Right, let's turn down these relative to tiger so we can get the full tiger power. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I think is an animal. It just keeps going and going and going. Maybe the chaos is a little high. All right. How about just Samoid tiger? Oh, I turned down the collie too far, and now they're like anti collie. Uh, just a little bit of collie. Okay. Maybe a little less samoid. All right. <laughs> our, our new animal friends. <laughs> okay, let's uh, turn these off for now. Get some other hybrids. How about uh, we get a little uh, goldfish? Yes, cute. Less chaotic, maybe? Hmm. I think we need a little more chaos than that, perhaps. The fact that it's so fast blows my mind, too. Because in very recent history, when this kind of neural network-based image uh, generation was kind of taking off, uh, something like this, you would either have to run locally, and it would take a very powerful GPU, and hours and hours and hours to make like one image, um, or there would be like a web service where it would be like, all right, you've, you've sent us your image request, please come back in 20 minutes and you'll see uh, an image usually even smaller than this. Um, but now we can just dick around and, and make them make us some tiger fish, more tiger fish, S Samoid tiger fish. Oh yeah. Oh man. The Pokemon company must be in crisis right now, knowing that their jobs can be done so easily. So maybe turn off Tiger. We'll, we'll just have one bipedal. <laughs> ah! Ah, it's so scary. Okay, what else we got? Underwater creatures. Oh, this maybe is too scary. <laughs> Crab. Oh boy! All right, no more fish. Just dog crab. Dog crab. Uh... Ah! 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 <laughs> oh! Oh! Dog crab. Okay, the crab. I don't know. It doesn't seem to really know what a crab is, because these must all just be things that are. Uh, you know, um, 
Chaos is zero. I don't know about that. Now it's just making images from whatever. This is like cooking, perhaps, and stuff. But these are all, I'm sure, manually uh, trained image recognizers that are now being fed into these, uh, like, like, what am I trying to say here? Um, first, you had separate image recognition algorithms to come up with, this is way too scary a category, to come up with uh, all of these different <laughs> Even the example images are a little scary. Let's get cello going. Um, what are we too chaotic? Hmm. At any rate, so yeah, stuff like this is tough because the image recognition algorithm algorithm identifies a picture of someone holding a cello with a whole bunch of other stuff going around uh, around. Uh, as an image of a cello, and even if the image recognition program um, that then goes based on that labeling to identify more pictures of cellos, um, like can identify what part of it makes it a cello. Like you can see in all of this, there are cello-esque features, but all of the images are so busy that they can't help but uh, like there's always like people involved, there's always like music stands, there's always the background. So it's having a hard time figuring out cellos. It's fair, that's fair. Yeah, how about something that is gonna be kinda like oh do you need more chaos? I'm not entirely sure what the chaos does. It just makes it like if we turn it way up. Oh. Now they look more normal. Okay, maybe I misunderstood chaos entirely. Let's make a dog tower. <laughs> oh, it's so cute, my dog tower. I thought these ones might be good because it felt like the water tower, you know, uh, or whatever. Yeah, it's it's always going to be kind of like the same sort of shot. The water tower is always like the same sort of object within it. Damn, I love these. This would be such a good album cover. It's so haunting for like kind of like ambient folksy music. They're just kind of like. Okay, let's make a let's make a crab tower. Yeah, I think maxing out chaos is good. These crab towers are uh, doing their best. Maybe a little less tower. Get the crab out. Well, now they're really crab, though. It's like uh, whatever one kind of dominates gets to choose more of the, the form and overall structure of the image, I guess. This is just a boat. Somehow crab plus tower equals boat. Like we're writing kanji or something, maybe. What other kind of tower can we make? Um, so I feel like we didn't give the, the cello a proper chance. I was sort of dismissive of it. Oh, yeah. Look at these cello towers. <laughs> So like, what is just raw cello with Max? Well, I don't know. <laughs> is this better? Is this worse? I think it's a bit better. If we go back down to Min Chaos, it definitely looks a lot more chaotic. So I don't, I don't really get it. Like, I don't know if it's like inverted or something. Hmm. <laughs> All right, what else? What else we got? Food. Oh, baby. Let's do some cooking. I'm going to combine cauliflower. Yes, yes. This looks quite like cauliflower. This is looking good. Let's try Max and Min Chaos to kind of get a handle on what that looks like. This seems like it should be Min Chaos, right? Like, am I crazy? Or is this kind of backwards? And then, oh, oh, hello. <laughs> Are you visiting Mr. Cauliflower into my, my land of nightmare? <laughs> All right, we'll do max. This looks fine, and then let's uh, let's add another ingredient. Perhaps uh, um, a cheeseburger. Mmm, mmm, delicious. Maybe a little less cauliflower. I want like a cauliflower burger. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's my cauliburg. 
Oh yeah, all right, let's get another ingredient in here. Um, perhaps an apple. Cauliflower bergapple. Mmm. Kind of genuinely feeling that <laughs> this looks like good food. I must have totally lost my mind. Because this is kind of looking like food to me. Somehow, overall, it looks like, you know, kind of like a fried veggie dish with various sauces. Uh, maybe it's Mexican. I don't know. Um, so maybe add... Uh, ooh, yeah, let's get some fish in here. Delicious fish. I like, uh, I like the taste of puffer. I've had it once. Fugu. Mmm, didn't really change it too much. I think we're dominated by burger now. Yeah, now they're, now, uh, ooh. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is <laughs> clearly what I wanted to see. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So, what, should, what, what else shall we try? Maybe some more animal fusions. Like, uh, you know how you've got your triceratops, which looks like this. You can't prove that it didn't because we didn't live in dinosaur times. And we've also got our border collie. And together, oh, <laughs> whoa, okay. How about Min Chaos? Like, I still am trying to figure out what's going on there. <laughs> oh, God. This is just insane. It's just, it just keeps going. Like, we'll never see the same images again. We'll ne it'll never get exhausted of our, our dumbass queries. It'll never throw its hands up and say, well, I don't know. What is going to happen if you add chimpanzee? <laughs> I think I think just chimpanzee Kali isn't bad. <laughs> mm, maybe a little bit of tiger? Maybe it needs a bit more tiger? Oh yeah. Ooh, how far can we go with tiger? Hmm. Tiger, tiger, burning bright, in the forest, through the night, something, something, Bly, that fierce full symmetry, it always bugged me because uh, symmetry and the word before it don't really rhyme, or the, in the line before it. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? 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 It's a banger, though. Oh, man, this is a good poem. William Blake. So, in the next video, we'll, uh, we'll tackle Blake. For now, I just wanted to show this off. Um, even if you had heard of it, I feel like most people were focusing on anime. Reasonable. Maybe portraits, maybe characters. Oh, I haven't played with albums yet. That sounds quite fun. Uh huh. How about some more green? Like these are fun, but the total freestyle, just adding whatever genes you want, I think is uh, just like so mind blowing. It's like, all right, it's time to combine these animals. <laughs> what shall we do today? Combine these animals. This looks cool. They all look cool. Um, and then you can also browse through some cool site. Uh, trending, so trending, let's see. And then I think we can just start fiddling with it. Like, uh, I don't like the tiger cat part. <laughs> Alright, fine. How about more maze? Hmm. Maybe much less maze. Ooh. Like it's it's kind of, it's interesting in that you know all of these words mean something, and yet the real art of this, I think, I guess, is uh, figuring out how adding just a little bit of book jacket is actually exactly what you need to get this uh, charming picture.
Well, I want more rabbit though. Give me those big ears. Okay. <laughs> ah, it's crazy. <laughs> oh man, what a fantastic website. Um. Hmm, anime. That looks like anime. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> banjo. No, I want more banjo. Oh. Well, even less banjo. Why does it, I think it's just more custard apple, please. Oh, good, good. How about a little more mushroom? Oh, and you know we need more cash machine. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna max out these snakes. See if we can get a little snake here. Yeah, you can see the snake is forming. Less lakeside. Unreal. Just just unreal. Um yeah, I don't know. I don't really have anything else to say, I guess. Pricing. Hmm. Could higher res, I guess, I see. Private mode, I see. Hmm. I would imagine this is quite expensive. It, 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 like, you can just make them so fast. Like, that's what I really can't get over. More than the, the fact that this exists. Like, I understood that the technology for this sort of thing existed years ago. But the fact that it's become so fast in those years is, uh, is truly a masterpiece. Okay, uh, we're going to check out another wacky... Uh, machine learning project. Um, I think we will. I don't know. I gotta scope it out first and see if it works the way I think it does. Um, but yeah, let me know. Are there other fun kind of projects like this that you'd like me to highlight and play with? Um, what kind of characters and stuff have you made? Please link your art. I think it would be fun to try to do challenges like, uh, you know, see if you can create a specific person or something. I don't know. Okay, that's all for now. Bye-bye.